Now, let's take a look back at TG51 general formalism right here. So we have discussed how to correct for the chamber Ra reading, which is the corrected reading M right here. And we know that NDW Cobalt 60 is a factor that directly from the calibration lab, which we don't need to do any measurement in the TG51 annual test. So what's left is the KQ factor, the beam quality factor. So in general, KQ is obtained from central axis percentage depth dose curve, or PDD. So before we do any TG51 point dose measurement, the first thing we need to do is we scan the PDDs for both photon and electron beams in a water tank. For photon, we need the PDD value at depth of 10 cm. And then we use this value to directly find KQ from either tabulated data or figure or use empirical equations. And if we use the table or figure, we will need the chamber information as well. And for electron beam, we find a few factors that multiply together equals to KQ. Some of these factors need R50 value from the scanned PDD data. And we will use the empirical equations again that uses the R50 and the chamber information to calculate those factors that eventually lead to KQ. And if we remember, R50 is the half value depth. It is defined as a depth where electron beam PDD equals to 50%. R50 is a very important factor that reflects the electron beam quality or defined or determines the shape of the electron PDD uh, for the record. So in this next two video lectures, I will further discuss details of, of attaining the KQ factors for both photon and electron beams. And in this particular video, I will start with the photon beam first. So as we said, we need to obtain the percentage depth dose at 10 cm uh, to begin with. So for example, for a 6 MV beam, uh, we obtain this PDD at 10 equals 66.2 from the scan PDD data. And then we go to TG51 uh, table. In this table, we have a list of chamber types, and each chamber type have the empirical values uh, for this KQ. So this, this line is the PDD at 10, and this X here is to remove the uh, electron contamination, which only need to be considered if our photon beam energy is higher than 10X, for example, 18 MV. <clears throat> so anyway, um, uh, the gist of using this table is that we need to know a chamber type and we need to know the PDD at 10 so we can use some interpolations to find the KQ from this table. So for example, uh, we have, if we use the farmer chamber and uh, we our PDD at 10 equals 66.2, so we use the 66 and the 71 value to obtain this KQ value for 66.2 by this uh, linear uh, interpolation equation. This is just an example of if we want to use the table uh, to get the KQ for photon. And let's see a more um, closed, closed example of what we do uh, for our annual. So this is, we want to say we want to do the 6MV uh, KQ factor uh, using, uh, using a different type of chamber. The chamber we use is actually the PTW uh, semi-flex chamber, 
which is slightly smaller than the firmer chamber in the last uh, slides. So, uh, of course, we first did the PDD scan, and then we find the PDD at depth of 10. And this value is the PDD at depth of 10 that removed the electron contamination. So for a low energy photon beam, uh, they are the same. And for a high energy um, photon beam, we actually use this equation, which is also from TG51, uh, to correct uh, for this uh, PD at 10 without the electron contamination. And again, in this case, because we're using the 6MV, they are the same. So one thing I want to um, talk about is TG51 was first published in 1999. And uh, back then, some of the nowadays popular ion chambers are not available. So in 2014, uh, there is a published addendum to the TG51 protocol. There are some changes in the addendum. For example, we added more types of chambers to the tabulated data to let us find KQ. We also have more, uh, we also have a equation that actually uh, can give us the KQ factor if we decided not to use the table and et cetera, other things. So, so in our TG51 annual, we actually use the addendum data. So if you look at it in here, um, so this is actually the equation. Once we have the PDD at 10, we can use this equation instead of the tabulated data to obtain the KQ factor. And the A, B, C value are from the TG51 addendum. So once we have the PDD at 10, we just plug into this equation using the fact these three factors for A, B, C, and we can get our KQ value. And in our case, the KQ value for a 6MV photon beam, in our case, it's 0 0.9927. And that's the example that I want to show you for a photon calculation. And I will briefly introduce how to obtain KQ factor for electron beam in the next video lecture.